Hello everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels Adventure and today we're on a new mod map called Alpen Hill. Now this mod map was released today on the 12th of the 4th 2024. It is indeed cross-platform compatible so PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and the Xbox series of consoles. It's 390.61 megabytes download and it's on the version 1.0.0.0 and it's been put together by a map maker called Black Pat Modding. So, pretty nice, I must admit. It's a very, very hilly. Lots and lots of contouring, and you're in a bit of a valley, or a dish, um, surrounded by all these beautiful mountains. So, very nice indeed. There's a little bit of information on ModHub, and there's also quite a few mods to download. So, let's just run through the information on ModHub. It says, the map is from my home country, Austria, Corinthia. On the map, you will find 85 fields, meadows and forest areas, ranging in size from large to small. You will find a picturesque village in the mountains where agriculture is still practiced. So that's probably not up here because I think that's your starting farm. I think they mean over in the corner over there. There's a biogas plant, an inn, a supermarket, agricultural sale, a fish farm, a sawmill, where built as production and sales points, and many more. I think the uh, translation is not brilliant as always. As a player, you receive a starting farm with two fields and various vehicles and machines. The stables for horses, cows, pigs, and chickens are also on the farm. You also get water from the lake and rivers. The stable for the sheep and the cow pastures are located just outside your farm. Clover has also been added as additional fruit. Hof 2 and Hof 3, as well as a bio-heating plant, must be purchased through the farmland. The fire station must also be purchased through the farmland, however, the farmland is free. So that's pretty good. Now for the mods that are needed, you've got a decorative details pack by Triangles Trouble, a very farm pack by Bernie SCS, sawmill pack by Ola, Ola Holdor, biomass power plant by Vertex Design, Homestead Pig Barn by Razor Modding, German Fire Station by NRX Eki, Self Marketing by Farmer 5 Tom, Terranian Dairy by Tirola Heimder Modding, no idea that one, Bavarian Houses by Lucas G, Landsberg Farm by Bernie SCS, Restaurant by Omatana, Pellets Production by FSPT, Lower Bavarian Farm Pack by Bernie SCS, Lion Fertilizer Salt Herbicide Sea Production by BDBSSB, all the B's and all the S's. Garden Plot by DS Power, and finally the Firewood Production by Agra Gatti. That's an interesting one. So uh, let's get our feet firmly back down on the ground and have a quick look at our starting fields and our starting equipment. So as you can see, we start with a small tractor from Widner, we start with a medium Master Ferguson. DK115 trailer, Amazoni cultivator, power harrow cedar, hardy sprayer, fertilizer spreader as well, sorry tank, uh, just a front row from Pottinger, a tether from Pottinger, a wind row from Pottinger, a forage wagon from Pottinger, Kelsa um, forestry equipment, front loader, and a front load bucket. So nothing revolutionary, but all pretty nice bits of kit. No leased items and no map specific either. So farmyard wise, Pretty nice, not um, too bad at all. Got a couple of solid bits around the back of the main farm. Then got some areas for your animals as well, I think. You've got a uh, cow barn with silo here. You've got an open shed here with some of your equipment. Another building here, this is another cow barn with silo. Or the same one, just a big area. Let's see if we can go in there. Oh. We can, so pretty nice, very nice model I must admit, so yeah, nothing revolutionary but all very very nice, so let's just double check I've got my triggers on, and I haven't, so that would always help if I did, I'm guessing sleep trigger and wardrobe trigger here, yep, sleep, oh, two sleep triggers by looks of things, yeah, okay, uh, feed for the chickens I'm guessing, Got a place there for silo, farm silo, yeah, quite a big one. We've got here we've got the animals, etc., which we'll run through in a few moments. So yeah, not too bad. And also we've got these apple trees, which are a type of production that produce apples that you can sell or you can then take to turn into pressed apple uh, juice, I believe. So pretty good. Looking at the PDA quickly. So let's look. 
we are down in this corner 92 so we own this whole area plus farmland 5 and farmland 2 which are two separate fields so they've been divided up very nicely i must admit so not too bad at all crop calendar wise um, I don't think it also has been altered. I'm not sure. Um, I think the barley might be a little bit early on uh, planting, on harvesting, sorry, in June. But I might be wrong. I look at a lot of map tours recently to catch up, so it kind of all merges into one. And um, the only one that's been added, fruit type, is clover. So that's at the bottom there, as you can see. Selling prices, everything sells very, very nicely. At least two or three places. You then also got apples sell as well clover dry clover solid clover apple juice and also fishes and firewood along with pellets as well as one of the mods that you need so pretty good um, animals chicken barn cow barn with silo cow pasture pig pasture and sheep barn so we'll quick look for those then shall we right sheep barn here and the triggers here are uh, 40 heads so not too bad let's do the next couple and I'm going to be this one, the pigs, I think. Pig pasture, which we passed. They're not going to be very big, I don't think. Oh, there we are. Yeah, 10 head, but nicely to get you started into pigs, I suppose. Not too bad at all. And then we've got this one, cow barn with silo, which is what we saw earlier. Can we find the trigger for buying the animals? It's always the fun part, isn't it? Let's obviously... Yeah. There we go. So... 80 head, yeah, fantastic. And then we've got chickens, so we've got chicken barn as well. I'm guessing that will probably be inside. No, maybe around here. Yeah, there we go. 360 heads, so not too bad at all. And finally, we are cow pasture outside, which needs food, water, and also needs to uh, put your cows out here. So 45 head, very nice indeed. Really picturesque map, this. Very, very impressive. So that's the animals. Contracts wise, obviously I think there's 80 fields ranging from small to large, so the contracts will get better, but they're not too bad at the moment. You know, um, starting with a couple of harvesting, a spraying and fertilizing. And productions wise, we start with trees. That's it really. So they can either be water and um, produces apples, or if you do water and manure, it doubles the cycles a month. It's pretty much all that is. So pretty basic, pretty easy to understand and they're all at the front of your uh, farm as you can see they're all classes of production down here so we zoom right out and have a quick look at our pda so yeah interesting pda um you can kind of tell it's um, pretty mountainous around the outsides and quite hilly with a like a valley dome in the middle so um pretty good um road layout though quite random and also the field so seem to be in a pretty nice placement and also shapes as well not very not very uniform quite all unique and quite a challenge so that's pretty good to see so let's have a quick look at our farm and our field productions and selling points we've got a restaurant we've got fish farming at the top which uh, you need pellets and food for sugar mill we then have the large sawmill we then have the alps bale purchase so you can sell your bales there and in the middle here we've got a Gule purchase, no idea. CRAP purchase, might probably need a translation change on that one, but there we go. Agricultural trade, vehicle shop, gas station, firewood processor, apple juice press, that's where you can get your apple juices, apples and turn them into juice, juice for pressing, grain mill, a dairy. And if we go over here, I think, before we go into other places, what have we got? Production of pellets, that's pretty good for your fish farming, gas station, sale market, lime fertilizer, salt herbicide seed prep, uh, spinnery, biogas plant, sun view, so selling point, tailor shop selling point, seller firewood, pet trade bale sales, animal dealer, bakery, house sell URLI, carpentry there, dairy, and I think we did these didn't we spinnery yet yeah. herbicide what about this one dairy yet yeah. grain mill and i think this is where the press is in the apple press oh yeah that's the one so i think that's pretty much all of the productions and sale points so vehicle wise i think ah okay which one go oh the lidney goes 
just as fast as the Mass Ferguson. So, you know what? Let's take the Lydna for a bit of a trek. Where do you think we have to go? Ooh, oh no, these Winky Pots. There you go, Malk. They're on the back low. Oh. Not sure Malk will like that. They're the LED sort. They're not Winkies. Right, where are we now? Uh, yeah, I think we have to go that way to get onto the main track. So, I'll just go around here. But yeah, very, very picturesque. Very, very, very beautiful in places. Um, really nicely contoured. Um, really nicely put together map by the looks of it. Roads are pretty good shape and size as well. Nice texturing. So, very nice. Very windy. So, you'd have to have your wits about you when you're driving some very big equipment. But as you can see, definitely not flat, definitely not um, you know, boring at all. Some, some of the views around here are, look at that, absolutely incredible down that mountainside. Absolutely lovely. Whoops. I think we're are we heading for some switchbacks. We are. Fantastic. Shame we don't have a really fast sports car go down these switchbacks, but there we go. But yeah, roads are um, very hilly. Got lots of contouring on, that's for sure. So that's good. Um, yeah, very surprising actually how uh, oh that nice river running down there into the bottom there. So that's a good place to fill up your your tank for some water. So that's pretty good, pretty good. So if we just carry on down here a little bit. So as you can see, to make it bound to the main places, you now have to uh, do some winding around the roads and do a bit of roading. So maybe using something like course play or auto drive. Oh, hello, crikey! Didn't know there was custom traffic on the map. That does make it interesting, that's for sure. Crack, it's a bit like a roller coaster, this, I tell you. It's like being back uh, on holiday. Right, okay, so you'd need some serious power to get over some of these hills, I think. So let's just wait and see where we are quickly. Right, so we're there. Okay, so we can go this way, I think. Yeah, if we go this way quickly, just try and go into a bit of a commercial ish area, but. Wow, yeah, okay. You definitely do need quite a lot of power on this map, probably to do a lot of farming. It's not a map you'd probably start with uh, 50 horsepower tractors, that's for sure. So let's just get this up this hill quickly. Stop up here, I think, and have a quick look at our field prices when we uh, get pulled over. But you can see there's a bit of a village at the top there, which is very, very nice by the looks of it. Um, the scenery on this map is fantastic. The contouring, I must admit, is really very, very impressive. It must have taken a very, very, very long amount of time in Giants Editor to get this uh, to get this smoothed out and to look properly. I must admit. So we're going to pull over here, go up this track a little bit, and just pull in here. I think. There we go. Fantastic. Right. Lovely view from the top here. Right. Let's have a quick look at our field prices. So we want to probably expand around our farm for a start. Field 4 is 57, field 3 is 45, 69 is 58, 6 is 48, 73 is 48, so not bad. Then here is 193, 62, 244, I think that's probably one of the biggest on the map actually, 63, 146. Okay, so you can buy all the external of the map um, for zero. So that allows you to buy certain other things as well, like fire station, etc. So that makes sense. At the top, 131. A bit of forestry, 106. So yeah, very impressive. I must admit, really, really impressive map when it comes to like just features and also how pretty it is and the way it's been contoured and made to look like you are really farming in the Alps, so fantastic for that. Hopefully you've enjoyed this map tour, if you have, give it a like, subscribe to the Greyman channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Many thanks for watching.